Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna get these link bars installed after I let them dry. We just painted them in the last video. And once we do that, well, we'll install the drive shaft first. We'll get that on there. Then we'll get the link bars in. Then we'll get the muffler attached to the bracket we made in the last episode. This should be the last episode and this truck will be on the floor and out the door. torque all these down after we get everything installed but next we're gonna go ahead and move on to the gas tank relocation these are the brackets the customer had brought with him and purchased we will get these trimmed up and this gas tank mounted Before we fully weld these brackets, I want to start mocking up all the air management. We got the two compressors, a slim tank, and we got to put back the slam specialty block. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of this cross member and bring the tank up here or if I want to, the gas tank, or if I want to put the air tank in here a little lower, and then the compressor here, the compressor there. I gotta kinda play with the pieces to see how they're gonna fit. It's just a puzzle now.
just figuring out the compressor mount. And that's, the tank's gonna go there. Compressor will be on that end. And you saw me taking measurements for the bracket. I already went ahead and designed some and cut them on the table. But we'll uh, hook up the camera or set up the camera by the bender to get these bent after I mark them up. Steps down, those are tacked in. Next is to the side placement of the Slam Specialty Manifold. I'm not sure if I want it to hang off this way, facing it. I want to do it flat, have it float flat like this, or if I wanted to angle off like this. I feel like I like this better, but we'll let the customer decide. Once we figure that out, we'll start making templates so I can cut that bracket out on the table. How the template is. I just bent these tabs back more and I'm gonna have it instead of being tight up against I don't like where the mounting is gonna be trying to screw that in so I flip it over and we mount it like this then we'll have more room to be able to put some screws in to hold it all right, now I'll go to design it up on Fusion 360. We'll get it cut. This is what I've come up with. We'll go ahead and run the simulator. Looking good, and we can go ahead and take it out and cut it on the table. We've got it loaded in the program. I already did the dry run, so let's turn that off. And let's go ahead and try.
All right, now it's cut. All right, now I'll mark it up, bend it where it's got to be bent, and we'll see how it works. Have to be something like this. I'll try my best to hold this up, but it'll be centered somewhere like here. And then 45 under the tank, nice and hidden. So tomorrow we'll clean it up, all the material area where I'm gonna be tacking it. We'll get it prepped and ready. Now that the holes are drilled and we actually like where everything is placed, we can go back and weld everything up now. We'll weld up these brackets, every one of them. We'll weld them in solid, paint them. And we'll start figuring out the wiring, the airline, start getting this thing uh, ready to go. That should be the last of the welding. We will, like I said, I'll paint it up next. And then after I paint it, before I start putting everything back together, I need to bleed the brakes. I need to do that before I do anything else. I didn't want to fully weld this all the way in case it needed some flex. Oh, oh, nope, back there, here we go. We're just gonna play dancing. All right, let's paint it up. I'll put the welder away, get that out of the way. And we'll start uh, I'll start putting a few things in, then we'll bleed the brakes. But we're definitely going to bleed the brakes before uh, I forget. I want that done and complete.
that's complete. All new fluid, as you saw, the fluid got darker to lighter. So I went ahead and made sure to push out all the old fluid. This is the old fluid. Not that great looking, which it's not uncommon. Not many people know that you're supposed to bleed and swap out your brake fluid. Now we can go ahead and start reassembling everything. I'll put the mount on first. Then we'll probably put the compressors on. Start to get the wiring and plumbing figured out. And then the tank will probably go on last. Then the gas tank and finish the last bit of wiring if I gotta extend anything. I'm not sure if the harness has to be extended like I just said, or I know we need to extend some hoses. But we're getting really close on this one. I'm ready for a shakedown. Piece at a time, we are getting there. Compressors fully mounted. Slam specialties manifold fully mounted. Room to access the bolts in the back. Give some breathing room. All right, this video is getting a little long. That's it for this one. You guys want to see it finished? That's going to be in the next video. We're going to get the wiring done, the gas tank in extend the fuel lines and cut the bed in the next one and this one's done hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet turn on notifications we got one more to go all right everyone thanks for watching